Monday, July 2018. Started out with moving the mattress back into the room that we pulled out for the girls that we met at the Amalfi Coast trip. Amazing, by the way. Highly recommend Amalfi Coast if you're ever in Italy. You gotta go. Um, also walked into the empty bedroom that my roommate had just moved out of. That was interesting. Um, two weeks before the program ended, which is crazy. Um, then turned into me researching train tickets to Venice, so I booked one of those, uh, got called into work, had some pasta real quick, went into work, um, did a lot of packing design today, so you'll probably see that. Um, also, right after work, went to get a tattoo consultation. Then after that, came home, kind of chilled out for a little bit, stressed out for a lot of the time, honestly. Um, a lot of things are crashing down, like I need student loans, I need flights booked, I need accommodation, I need to know if I have health insurance when I get back, an apartment to live in, all of this shit. So I dealt with that for a few hours. Then tried to head to Plaza Vecchio to climb the bell tower. They closed, so that didn't happen. But instead, um, Corinne, Alex, and I went to go get Perkino, which is the best gelato place in all of Florence. You can mark my words, you have got to go if you're ever here. Um, enjoyed that for a spell. Then I went and had the most Florentine experience of my life. So post gelato, I'm sitting in Piazza della Repubblica watching the carousel spin around as someone's playing live music and these two little adorable girls are dancing to the music. It's just a great time. And then after that, I headed over back to the tattoo shop. I got tattooed by Cosma. She's amazing. Um, but I also met the piercer. We went across the street and I got an espresso. We paid for it. He was drinking wine. I met a doctor and the bartender and it was like really chill. Super Italian experience. I feel like it was really awesome. Um, went ahead and got my tattoo. Yes, I was alone. Didn't mind it. Um, it was a really quick. I actually got two tattoos. Um, for the price of a one because I bargained. They're very small, so that's how that happened. What a jam-packed day I had. Honestly, I'm really tired and I have to be up in a few hours for Venice, but that was Monday, July 10th, 2018. Tuesday, July 10th, 2018. So, woke up this morning, went to Venice pretty early, around like six, had a layover and Prato change trains after 15 minutes and then Bologna for like about an hour. You have to take advantage of your layovers. <laughs> I went and saw the towers, which was really amazing. I don't know how they're standing or that one is standing. It just is so far over. Maybe not too much advantage of your layover because I ran. It's bad walk. I'm sweaty. Got on the train, went to Venice. I'll have pictures and video of that, of course. Just how Venice was and what it looked like and everything. Um, so I got kind of bored after an hour and then I went on an app called Couch Surfing, which I can talk more about later on. Um, I would just have to dedicate a lot of time to it. And I met up with these girls and we kind of got lost for a really long time, honestly. We were walking around the heat for a good bit. And then we ended up at the supermarket. I don't know how, there's gotta only be one in all of Venice. We got lunch there. Um, decided we really wanted to do gondola rides. So the three of us hunted down another group of three. At St. Mark's Basilica, we actually um, found another group of three and I was like, excuse me, we're trying to do a gondola ride, we just need three more people. They said yes, followed us around until we got people down to 80 euro because for some reason they're trying to sell it to us for 120 euro. Not happening. Um, got in the gondola, that was fun. I thought I was gonna capsize. Really, really, really shaky, wobbly. I had my laptop, my camera, and my phone all with me. Um, just cause I'm an idiot, so. <laughs> I was really worried this thing was gonna tip over. So the gondola was amazing. Then we went into St. Mark's Basilica, which was like really cool to see, um, except you had to pay for a lot of stuff. So we kind of skipped a lot of that. Like we didn't see the treasures. Um, we halfway saw the Palace of Gold. Um, we kind of like looked when we got up to the tickets and just like left. Then we went and saw like the Murano glass technique by Amadeo in the glass blowing kind of center or like big shop um, and took a walk around there and that was a lot of fun. And then it was time for me to go, caught my train. Then I missed my other train. So I was in Bologna again for my other layover and I just missed 
my train. Uh, but then I snuck on into an express train, which I really don't think you should ever do because you can get fined like a ton of money. So don't do that. Um, I was like cold sweating. Uh, you know what? I'll just insert. I'll insert that. Um, I think I missed my train, which sets me back about two to three hours. So that's fun. Yeah, I definitely missed my train. There's a whole nother platform station, EST. Obviously, I'm a little mad because I didn't know this existed. Wow. Luckily, my phone's charged and there is another train coming just way, way, way later. <laughs> oh my God, and I just thought I was so on time tonight. Wow, I wasn't even running to catch this train this time. Hmm, I thought. I almost caught a train home, a fast one, would have taken me 30 minutes, but I missed it by 30 seconds, if that, but I'm going to sneak on a different train, and hopefully I don't get fined. So I'm back in forth, it's probably the same time I would have been had I actually gotten on my train, um, because I snuck on to an express train, which I don't recommend sneaking onto trains in general at all, it's like the worst idea ever. Um, it's actually the second time I've done it, and the second time I've been scared shitless and cold sweating and very, very, very stressed out, guilty conscience, for sure. But the guy passed me by because I pretended to be asleep. So I didn't get a ticket, I didn't get a fine, but I'm home. And the same time I probably would have been, but oh my god, I'm so stressed out. My heart rate was like through the roof. So, yeah, then I got back to Florence in a timely manner after all of that. It's 11.17 right now. This is Corinne, by the way. She's my roommate in Florence. Florence. But yeah. Wednesday, July 11th, 2018. Didn't do much, especially in the morning. Um, all I had been doing was stressing myself out with financial aid paperwork and lease and housing and my travel plans after this internship and everything. So... Nothing exciting, really stressful. I did that for hours trying to get everything figured out. Things are still kind of up in the air, but closer now, so we'll see. Um, then we had, I was doing that literally all day, actually. Then we had a exit orientation for the internship. We still have about another week, but it was just um, kind of a wrap up, things you should ask your boss, reverse culture shock, yada yada yada. And then we had a farewell dinner which is amazing. I didn't really film too much because it was a lot of the endurance and just a lot of people. Um, but I did get really drunk because that's legal here. Uh, I had a few glasses of wine. Started with Prosecco, moved to red and then white wine, and then there was limoncello for a digestive at the end. So I was pretty drunk. <laughs> Um, and because I was drunk, we went to a club. So we went to Space um, Club in Florence. It's a big club. Um, but before that, we went to Lions Fountain, which is like, got all these college t-shirts. And I found LSU Medicine and Baylor and NYU Tisch and a few others. But it was, um, it was a pretty chill bar. And then the club was a lot of fun. And then that um, concludes the night. It actually lasted, of course, until like 3, 4 a.m. as it does when you go to a club. But that was, uh, that was the night. Thursday, July 12th. Um, I literally didn't really do much this day. I was supposed to, but I didn't. Woke up kind of late. Basically, all I did was search on the computer and try and get all my flights figured out and booked through STA, which is Start the Adventure Travel. I had a voucher. Um, I had been trying to get a hold of them for weeks, and I was finally able to do that yesterday and have all my flights booked. Um, I did go grocery shopping uh, for a few necessities. Had some dinner. That was good. Watch The 40-Year-Old Virgin. First time I watched it. It's actually a really good movie. I think it's really funny. That, uh, that was yesterday. I really did nothing. I fell asleep. So I guess the big accomplishment was getting my flights figured out, but... That was Thursday. One last thing, I also told my mom about my tattoos last night and she took it pretty well. Well enough. So now I just have to tell my dad, so ignore the lighting. I know it's horrendous. All right, so Friday the 13th, July 2018. Wow, I actually had like a pretty decent day considering it's Friday the 13th. I had work today. I know I haven't worked these past few days, but that's because my boss has taken a few days off. So I had a few days off and she's closed on Tuesdays. So I went back to work today. I don't go until 11.30, so it's pretty chill. 
Um, I took my time, watched a few videos. Shout out to my friend Matt. He vlogs here on YouTube, of course. Matthew Statson. Go leave him a comment, give him a like, go subscribe, do the damn thing. Um, ate breakfast, of course. Then I made my way to work Friday, so I do Friday front pants. It's a thing. It's been a thing. It was really hot today, so I probably should have worn pants, but I did. On the way to work, it was so funny. I saw this rose, this lone single rose just floating in the Arno. Because, like, me, forever alone, floating in the Arno on Friday the 13th. What I'm doing for work now is going to be kind of a video project, so that's kind of ambitious because I have exactly a week until my last day of interning. So I have a lot of footage to gather for that. I'm doing that next Tuesday. Then my boss got me lunch today, which was so nice, from like the little pizza place next door with prosciutto and zucchini and mozzarella and tomato. It was so good. And I just made my way back over from work, and basically what I've been doing besides working all day, it's kind of been on the computer. I started editing, um, I made dinner, I had some like homemade like lo mein sort of um, with veggies and like an egg and it was really good. Um, but yeah, I haven't really super been up to much other than work and I'm excited for this video project. But that was Friday the 13th, 2018. Not so unlucky if you ask me, but it's not over yet. It's like 10, 20 right now. I'm probably just gonna continue editing the footage I have for this vlog and probably eat a piece of toast with Nutella. And that's it. To change of plans, I'm actually gonna watch Sinbad tonight. Thanks to Alex because Alex? <laughs> she is gonna get me on this nostalgia bend. I did. I just finished Joseph King of Dreams and I'm doing Prince of Egypt right now. Mm. And the soundtrack. <laughs> Saturday, July 14th, 2018. Today was another good one. I went with Alex to an art shop she's been eyeing for a while so she could pick up like a notebook and some pens and stuff. And we just kind of like meandered around and like took the scenic route. We went across the Ponte Vecchio, the San Trinita. I uh, just kind of saw things <laughs> as one does when they walk. And then we had plans to go to Academia, which we've been planning to do for a while. So we went saw David in live and in person and it was amazing. The detail is astounding in the veins and the neck and the hands are a little unproportional, they're a little bit big, but like the detail just like, it, it grooves the knuckles, the fingernails, everything is just insane. There's also this musical history part, which is really interesting. Then we went and headed over to Percano, which is the best gelato place in all of Florence, second time this week. <laughs> And then hit up Kona for some more groceries because I didn't do too much grocery shopping last time. Then I booked my bus from Paris to Lisbon with a stop in Barcelona for like pretty cheap. And then I met up with um, the same girl that I had met up with in Venice, or one of them, and I met her at Piazza della Repubblica by the carousel. Uh, we went around the Arno again and kind of like saw the area. Palazzo Pizzi, we kind of saw that. Then we headed to Piazza Michelangelo and had the overlook of Florence. It's absolutely astounding and it's free. So if and when you're in Florence, definitely hit that up. You'll get amazing views of the city. It's free to go. It's a bit of a hike, I will say, but definitely worth it for the views and everything. And it was just like a nice scenic walk. Um, we went around and down two separate ways. We kind of saw both sides of the piazza and it was just a really nice walk very scenic very beautiful and on the way out we actually saw this like parade which i'd seen the opening ceremony of but it's like the soccer match they do in florence or something that was like i guess the closing ceremony and the final match and then we headed to plaza vecchio and there's like a concert outside like a 15 man orchestra type of deal and i was really cool to like kind of stumble across but yeah and then i headed to parquet again, um, which I don't have footage of, but I didn't get anything. But I came home, ate dinner, just a sandwich, and beans, which, okay, I actually want to talk about the beans. They're fagioli, cannelli beans, the best. So the way I do them is with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and pepper, and then refrigerate them for a little bit. So simple, but so, so, so good. And it has to be extra virgin. Like regular olive oil just won't cut it because it doesn't have that like pepperiness to it. Um, but now I'm about to dive into some apples and Nutella. That is what I did today. Pretty, pretty good day. Pretty good Saturday. I saw a lot, did a lot. So yeah. Last day of the week or of this weekly vlog, Sunday, July 15th, 2018. 
Uh, today was a too hot to function type of day, literally. I don't think I left the apartment all day long. I mean, I've been out here, but that's that's about it. Also, if you hear Italian speaking, they're having their Sunday dinner outside, and there's also this hotel that's having a rooftop party or something. I don't know. So what did I do today? Literally not anything at all. I had breakfast outside. Basically, all I showed you guys today is what I ate. Um, I did try to film. So I tried filming, but then my memory card was like too full, or the battery was dying, and the lighting was awful. It was just like not good condition, so I didn't do that. It was also really hot, and I had to turn off the air so like the audio wouldn't get messed up. Just I couldn't do it, so I didn't. <laughs> um, I broke my water bottle that I've had and have been using for the past two months in Italy, which really sucks. But I mean, I have a different traveler mug, so it's fine. Mm. I told my dad about my tattoos. He took it a lot better than I was expecting. My mom freaked out. You have tattoos? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. She was like a seven on angry out of ten. Maybe an eight. She was an eight out of ten. Like a very instant angry and then cool down, whatever. My dad was like, oh, like those are really nice. Those are look really good. I was like, oh, okay. And I thought their reaction was great. I thought my dad was gonna be like, no, you have to get this removed as soon as possible. But he wasn't, so that was good. I cooked some honey baked chicken and potatoes and I ate them too fast before I could show you guys. Also, our trash has been smelling in the apartment and we finally took it out today, so that was good. It doesn't smell anymore, but bro, it is so hot. It's like just unbearable. Inside feels worse. It feels like an oven. I hope you guys kind of like this style of vlog. A lot of times it's hard for me to get clips and talk at the same time. So what I would rather do is focus on getting quality shots and like having a nice scenic, whatever. I really hope you cannot hear that like techno music. But anyway, like I said, to get quality shots is kind of like my main point and then I can talk about the day afterwards and have this kind of like sit down recap while you're seeing what I'm talking about. And I like that style. But let me know if you like it. Shoot me a comment, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. You'll see my travel vlogs coming up. For the next two weeks thanks for watching i'm gonna go sweat out and maybe take a shower and try and fall asleep in this heat so i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye